Hello students, myself Madhu Hancha. In this session, we'll discuss some of the important microbiology, very short notes, which will be helpful in the university examination. First question, name for disinfectants. So first of all, what is mean by disinfection? Disinfection means it is a destruction of all pathogenic microorganisms. So, which is uh, capable of producing infections, but uh, not necessarily the spores. So, spores are not killed by using of the disinfection process. So, higher level disinfectants, uh, they even kill the like the spores also. But generally, uh, disinfection doesn't kill the spores, but it kills the like only vegetative forms of the microorganisms. So, disinfectant is the chemical substance, so which is used in the disinfection that uh, kills the microorganisms. So here uh, you can see the like list of disinfectants. You can see ethyl alcohol and the recommended concentration is 70%. Glutaraldehyde, uh, 2%. Lysol, 2.5%. Savlon, 2%, uh, 5%. Detol, 4%. Bleaching powder, uh, we can use 14 grams in 1 liter of water. Sodium hypochlorite, 1% and 0.1%. Betadine, 2%. Next question, mention four helimin parasites. So helimins, they include uh, like uh, three groups again, like uh, uh, cystodes, nematodes, and trematodes. So these are the examples for helimin parasites. Uh, first one is tinea solium, tinea saginata, cystosoma species, phageola hepatica, ascaris lumbricoids, ancelostoma duodenale, Enterobius vermicularis, Trichuris trichura, Ucariria bancrofti. All these are examples for elements. Next question. Mention four diseases transmitted by fecoral root. So like uh, fecoral root means uh, if the food or water gets contaminated with the uh, fecal matter, it leads us to the like infections. So what are the organisms transmitted by fecoral root? Uh, here, Vibrio cholera uh, that causes cholera. Next, Shigella, it causes shigellosis or bacillary dysentery. And Salmonella typhi, uh, it causes typhoid fever. Ischerichia coli, it causes diarrhea. Hepatitis A, hepatitis E, enteroviruses. And norovirus, it causes uh, acute gastroenteritis. Poliovirus, it causes poliomyelitis. Rotavirus, rotavirus causes rotaviral diarrhea. Endamoeba histolytica, it causes amoebiosis or amoebic dysentery. And GRDA, GRDA species causes GRDAsis. So all these like uh, microorganisms, they are transmitted by fecoral root. Next question, antibiotic sensitivity test. So what is mean by antibiotic sensitivity test? So what is the purpose of antibiotic sensitivity test? So it is to determine uh, the susceptibility of isolates to antibiotics, which to be, uh, which are to be used. So here in this, we check uh, whether like uh, we check the like a bacterial susceptibility to which antibiotic it is sensitive to which antibiotic it is resistant. So here, antimicrobial sensitivity tests are of two types. Uh, first one is diffusion test, and second one dilution test. In the diffusion test, uh, again, it is of two types. Stroke disc diffusion method and Kirby bar disc diffusion method. Dilution methods, there are of two types broth dilution and agar dilution methods. Next question gram staining. So, what is gram staining? So, gram staining is like a basic staining in the like microbiology. So, it is the most widely used staining technique in the bacteriology in the laboratory. And see, uh, this staining was given by the scientist. Hans Christian Gram in the year 1884. So based upon this Gram staining, the bacteria they are mainly classified into two groups: Gram positive bacteria and Gram negative bacteria. So what is the procedure here? Uh, first of all, take the heat fixed smear and add a crystal violet solution. Stain it with the, like a crystal violet solution. Add just a, one to two drops of crystal violet solution and uh, keep it for one minute. So this crystal violet solution is called as primary staining. Then after that, discard the crystal violet solution 
and then pour Gram's iodine solution. So here Gram's iodine solution, it is called as moderate stain. And keep it for one minute and again wash the smear. Then decolor is with the stone. Add stone drop by drop so that the excess color will be like washed off. And uh, decolor is for a minimum 10 to 30 seconds. And again wash with the uh, slow running tap water. And then add saffronin. So saffronin and wait for 30 seconds. So saffronin here counter stain. So after that, like uh, allow it to air dry and observe under microscope. So here gram positive bacteria appears violet in the color. Gram negative bacteria appears pink or red in the color. Next question, BCG vaccine. So what is meant by BCG vaccine? So BCG vaccine, uh, BCG stands for Bacillus, Calamity and Guarin. So uh, scientists, Calamity and Guarin, uh, they developed this vaccine. So this vaccine, uh, it prevent from the like uh, tuberculosis. Actually, it is a heterologous vaccine. So this uh, vaccine, it is consists of mycobacterium bovis and it gives uh, protection from mycobacterium tuberculosis. It consists of attenuated stain. It is a live attenuated vaccine. So it consists of attenuated strains of mycobacterium bovis. And this vaccine, it is given 0.1 ml. Uh, it is given intradermally in the uh, left upper arm. It is given immediately after birth. So if we uh, fail to give immediately after birth, uh, we can give within the first year of the life. So after giving up this vaccine, a small nodule, uh, it will develop at the vaccination site. Uh, like, uh, and this now, small nodule, it increases slowly in the size and uh, it uh, attains the diameter of 4 to 8 mm after uh, uh, around 5 weeks. And this uh, small nodule, it subsides, uh, like it subsides or it breaks into the shallow ulcer and it heals spontaneously by leaving the, like a thick permanent scar. So, these people, like BCG vaccinated people also, uh, they become tuberculin positive after four to six weeks of the vaccination. Next question, IgG antibody. So if you see, uh, this is the structure of IgG antibody. IgG antibody is the uh, major serum immunoglobulin. Almost it is present 80% uh, of total serum. So the normal serum concentration is 8 to 16 uh, mg per ml. IgG has the molecular weight of 1,50,000 Daltons. And it has half-life of 23 days. And see, this is the uh, only immunoglobulin. IgG antibody is the only immunoglobulin. Uh, it can cross through the placenta and it gives the natural passive immunity. Here, uh, there are four subclasses are there. That is IgG1, IgG2, IgG3, and IgG4. And see, uh, this antibody, it appears late in response to the infection. Uh, but it persists for the longer period. And these uh, these four subclasses are there. That is IgG1, IgG2, IgG3, and IgG4. So these are identified with the specific antiserum. Next question, classification of fungi. So here morphological classification. Based upon the morphology, fungi, they are mainly classified into four types. First one, yeast. Second one, yeast like fungi. Third, molds. And fourth one, dimorphic fungi. If you see yeast, yeast is uh, round to oval unicellular fungi. So they are like a round or uh, oval. So they are made up of single cell unicellular fungi. And the yeast it is reproduced by the body. And they form the like a thick creamy colonies on culture media. So here example is Cryptococcus neoformans. Next, yeast-like fungi. Yeast-like fungi, they grow partly as yeast and partly as elongated uh, chains. That is, budding uh, cells, they join end to end. They form the like pseudo uh, Example, candida albicons. Next, uh, molds. Uh, molds, they grow as the branching filaments. That is called as a hyphae. So, this hyphae may be either septate or aseptate. And they uh, this hyphae it continues to grow and it forms a tangled mass that is called as the uh, mycelium. So here mycelium is also uh, two types, aerial mycelium and vegetative mycelium. Here examples are uh, aspergillus and pencilium. Next, uh, dimorphic fungi. 
dimorphic fungi it exists in the two forms so first of all it exists as yeast that means round shaped cells whenever they are present in the host tissue whenever they are present in the human body they exist as yeast or otherwise in artificial cultures if we maintain a 37 degree celsius they appear as yeast and they appear as hyphal forms if they are present in the soil or otherwise in artificial cultures if we maintain a temperature of 22 to 25 degrees celsius Example, blastomyces, dermatitis, and the others. Next, uh, this is uh, based upon the like uh, Thales organization. So here fungi, uh, they are um, mainly classified into four classes. Fungi, they do not have the chlorophyll, such as zygomycetes, uh, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes, deuteromycetes, or fungi imperfecti. If you see zygomycetes, they are the lower fungi, uh, and they have non-septate hyphae. They have the hyphae. This is uh, 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 hyphae is non-septate. They form the asexual spores and the spores are called as sporangia spores. And zygomycetes, they form the sexual spores. They are called as zygospores and oospores. If you see ascomycetes, ascomycetes, they possess the septate hyphae. They form the like sexual spores. They are called as ascospores. So these ascospores, they are present within the sac or in the ascus. Next, basidiomycetes. Basidiomycetes have the septate hyphae. They form the sexual spores. Uh, they are called as the basidiospores. And these basidiospores are formed on basidium. Next, deuteromycetes are fungi, fungi imperfect type. They possess the septate hyphae. So they lack the like sexual state. So most of the medically important fungi, uh, they belong to this deuteromycetes are fungi imperfect type. Next question, coach postulates. So here, what are cock postulates? So generally, like a germ theory of the disease. Louis Pasteur proposed the germ theory of the disease. Uh, according to the germ theory of the disease, all the infections are caused by the germs or microorganisms. So Louis Pasteur proposed the germ theory of the disease, but he didn't prove it. Later, it was proved by scientist Robert Koch. So here, these are the cock postulates, such as association, Isolation, inoculation, and re-isolation. So if you see what is association, here the organism, it should be always associated with the lesion of the disease. According to the association, always the microorganism should be present in the lesion of the disease. And next, uh, according to the isolation, it should be possible to isolate the organism in the pure culture from the lesion of the disease. If we collect the sample from that lesion, so we should be able to isolate the organism in the pure culture. A pure culture means a culture consists of single type of organism. Next, uh, the isolated organism, when we inoculate into the suitable laboratory animal, so the suitable lab the laboratory animal also should produce same type of lesion or similar type of disease. And according to the re-isolation, it should be possible to re-isolate uh, the same organism in the pure culture uh, from the lesion which is produced in the like experimental animal. So from the experimental animal, again, we should uh, re-isolate the like uh, same type of organism. So here later one more uh, additional criterion also added, uh, such as specific antibodies should be demonstrable in the serum of the patient. So here, if any bacteria follow the cock postulates, then only it is considered as a, like a pathogenic organisms. So if it doesn't follow the like cock postulates, uh, then the bacteria will be considered as non-pathogenic organisms. But there are some exceptions are there. Uh, if you see mycobacterium leprae, uh, Triponema pallidum. So generally, uh, they do not follow the like cock postulates, but still uh, they are considered as the like pathogenic organisms. Next question: Name four capsulated bacteria. So what is capsule? So capsule is the outer gelatinous layer uh, which is secreted around the cell wall. So generally capsule either it is polysaccharide or polypeptide in the nature. So if you see bacillus anthracis capsule is polypeptide in the nature, uh, but other uh, bacterial capsule is polysaccharide in the nature. So this uh, capsule generally it inhibits the like a phagocytosis. So what are the examples? Uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae, Klebsiella species, Bacillus anthracis, Haemophilus influenza. So these are the capsulated bacteria. 
Thank you.